Now for a second demonstration, we're using Florida sandy clay soil. And what we have here is a container of sandy clay soil with, this contains 100 grams of soil, 3 tenths of a gram of stock absorb. This is only a stock absorb test. The second container is the same 100 grams of soil, but without stock absorb. Now what we're going to do is to add a measured quantity of water, in this case 24 grams of water. Now remember, this is the same ratio that's recommended under field applications. It's an 80 to 1 ratio. So this is without stachysorb, and this is with stachysorb. So now we're going to add the water to the soil and watch what happens. So with stachysorb, we, we add the water, and without we add the same quantity of water, trying to put them both in about the same time. Now you'll notice that that water is infiltrate all of the sandy loam soil here, and the same is occurring with the sample that does not have stock absorb. We're going to set these aside and come back to them in a short period of time to see what has taken place with the absorption of water. Here we are 30 minutes after conducting this little experiment with stock absorb in the soil that we tested from Florida. Here is the soil with the stock absorb, and you'll notice that it is completely gelled. All of the soil has, is completely solid. All of the moisture has been absorbed. And of course, the sand without the stock absorb has not. What does that mean? It means that in the field, this water is probably going to run right through this sand, but with the stock absorb, these little reservoirs are going to grab it, hold on to it, and make it available to the plants.